Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. It is October 16th. We are on IO at the Giant Scar Landing Zone and Xur has arrived right on schedule. We're gonna go check out his inventory. Just a reminder to you guys, tonight is gonna be episode number 124 of the Last Word podcast and we are gonna be having Ty Guy Travis. Uh, Travis from IGN uh, and Fireteam chat. So if you watch that, he's going to be joining us tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Eastern time, right on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Ebontis. So I'll talk more about that in the end, but for now, let's see what he's got. As always, a quick reminder, make sure you get your exotic engram. Only a few more shots at this one if you're trying to complete your collection, fill it out, get a couple good armor rolls going into Beyond Light, pick this thing up. But remember, if you don't have anything that he is currently selling, make sure you buy it first before you buy this because you would just be paying four times as much. So if you're missing anything here, buy it before you buy this exotic engram. Otherwise, go for your random roll. And now let's see what he's got for sale. First weapon we've got is the Queen Breaker. This is one I actually have not seen in a while in use, but it's actually a kind of fun gun. Uh, it's a linear fusion rifle. Uh, the entrance of the crate fires a long range precision arc bolt that blinds enemies on hit. Now you've got two different options. You've got the marksman sight, long range sight with slower charge time and greater damage, displays ammo and charge levels. You've got the combat sights. It's actually kind of cool the way the sights switch to. Low zoom sight with faster charge time and handling. Displays ability energy. Just to actually see where your abilities are at, since it's going to be kind of uh, more of like an iron sights look. And then this one's definitely going to be your long zoom, slower charge, greater damage. Depends on what you're going for. This will still probably kill guardians in PvP, especially if you hit them in the head. This one, of course, probably better, more of a PvP or PvE option for damage. Got enhanced battery, hip fire grip, or quick draw. Depending on what you're going for, you can switch it up. And fitted stock. Overall, it's an arc linear fusion rifle. Linear fusion rifles aren't in the most amazing space currently, and this one being being an exotic doesn't really do enough for itself to stand out because, yeah, you sure get more damage, but of course it's slower, so then your DPS is still not very high. Overall, it's a cool weapon in theory, but it's never panned out to be anything great. There was a time in Gambit it was really cool. It's been outshined by many other things at this point because they kind of nerfed linear fusion rifles because Sleeper was very broken. This thing took a bit, a bit of a beating as well. So it's a cool weapon. If you don't have it, buy it, stick in your collection, but I don't think it's uh, breaking any metas by any stretch currently. For the Hunter, we've got the Lucky Raspberry um, chest armor. Perk here is Probability Matrix. Increases the chaining capabilities of Arc Bolt Grenade and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. A full chain always recharges. So if you're a fan of arc bolt grenades, this is your go-to, kind of has to be. And the cool thing is, is any chain damage that it has will refill some energy into your uh, next grenade that you'll get to throw. If you get a full chain, like hit the certain number of enemies, I think it's three that it'll hit. If you hit all three, you get a full recharge. So, that's pretty legit to have your grenade up very frequently, especially if you find three people together, you get it up, you throw it back out again, you hit them twice, they're dead. If you like arc, girl, arc bolt grenades and you don't have this somehow, make sure you buy it. We're also looking at a pretty even stat roll, 62, 9, 13, 10, discipline's at least 12, so that's at least on the higher end of this one. Intellect 10 and strength is 8. Pretty even stat rolls, but discipline at least being 10 and this being a grenade-related exotic, that's a pretty good roll. So if you like arc bolts, Pick it up, have some fun, throw a few extra grenades. And Dune Marchers. I'm sure you've been killed by these once or twice. Uh, so you've got Linear Actuators. Increases sprint speed. Sprinting builds up a static charge. After melee attacking an enemy, that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies. So if you're running around in PvP, which most of us do anyway, you build up a charge. If you run into somebody around a corner, you finish them with a punch. You punch and it actually sends that chain damage to other people. So if you're in a point where you're ending up in a two on one and that punch and the other person's close enough, you can damage the other person. I've heard this thing can damage people in kind of crazy ways. So overall, this one is a fun one in PVP that I see quite a few Titans use. So if you like running around, getting up close and personal, even if you like shotgunning, you're still gonna be in close range. This could definitely be a thing for you. Now it's only 61 stat roll. And unfortunately we're losing strength uh, that one's a two and a resilience. Your Titan stat is also a three. Now mobility 16, recovery, discipline, and intellect 13, 14, 13. Those aren't bad by any stretch. Those are actually stats I typically like. I wouldn't mind seeing resilience to be a little bit higher, mostly because we know mobility doesn't make you sprint faster. So that's not going to be that beneficial for you. Resilience would make you a little harder to kill up close. 
and strength. If you're gonna have be up close and punching, it'd be nice to have your melee ability come up a bit quicker. So I'd like to like switch the discipline to strength and the mobility to resilience if I could be in a perfect world. But overall, if you just have a collections exotic, this is still gonna be better. So pick this thing up if you don't have it. And believe me, if you're Titan, you like to get up close and personal, Try this thing out. I've seen a lot of people have a lot of luck with this. For the Warlock, finally, we've got the Getaway Artists. Now, this one could be a fun one. I've heard people uh, joking because you've got no time to explain. A new exotic that's coming out with Beyond Light that makes its own little time portal firing thing. You've got Getaway Artist that makes the Arc Buddy for the Warlocks much more powerful. You put those together, you've got like three sources of firing coming from one character. It might be hard to put all of that stuff together, but it still seems like it could be a lot of fun to potentially get there. The perk here is Dynamic Duo. So if you press Q, convert your Arc Grenade into a supercharged Arc Soul. The Arc Soul functions as an autonomous turret. And the thing, instead of being like pew, pew, it's like four shots at a time. It's actually fairly powerful. That one can actually help you win some one-on-one -on -one fights. And the nice thing is, if you look at this, you need to convert your Arc Grenade into a supercharged Arc Soul. So you need Grenade Energy. If you look at the Discipline, we've got 18 and Recovery is 18. That Now, the other stats are not that high. This is only 60, but the fact that you have recovery, which is good for warlocks, and discipline, which is based, this thing is based around using your grenade energy to turn it into the arc soul. That's pretty awesome. Now, I'd like to see it a little bit higher. Like, 60 is low for an exotic. They can be anywhere from, like, 60 to, I think, 69. But still, just the fact that those two are fairly high, those are probably the two you're looking for for this one to actually get a good amount of use. So if you don't have this one, this is in a bad roll, even if it is only 60. And if you do, see where your stat rolls at. If you have mobility and strength on an exotic like this, this one still may be better. Overall, it's pretty fun. Your Arc Soul turns into a pretty beastly turret. Going to have some fun combos in Beyond Light with this one, I have a feeling as well, with more people using turrets and freezing turrets and stuff like that. We're going we're gonna to be having some fun. So that being said, if you're a Warlock, check this one out. All right, Guardians, that pretty much does wrap it up for Xur. So these are ones if you, you know, have certain play styles that can be beneficial for. Queen Breaker, unfortunately, isn't really amazing in much of anything right now, so not really going to be too excited about that. But overall, if you're missing any of these armors, buy them. They're actually pretty decent rolls. As for tonight, as I said, we have uh, Ty Guy Travis uh, from IGN's Fire Team Chat joining us on the Last Word Podcast, our Destiny podcast tonight. It will be live 7 p.m. Eastern Time, so stay tuned for that one right on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Ibantis. You can also find me on Twitter and right here on YouTube if you're new to the channel. I cover a lot of Destiny. I'm also going to be covering a whole bunch of stuff. Beyond Light, Demon Souls, Godfall, Outriders. There's a lot of stuff coming to the channel. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button and the alert bell. Stay tuned. More stuff is coming to you there. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, even if you just want to say hello. Look forward to you guys in the next one. I'll see you soon.